Have you ever wondered why the tracks of major international producers sound so loud and full? Of course, it's because of the selection of the right sounds, it's about the mix, but also because of the final step, the mastering. My name is Thomas Foster and in this video I'll show you how to master your track in FL Studio 21 to get the most out of it. Good to have you here, let's go! First we use a filter, a low cut filter at something like 20-30 Hz to cut out the low frequencies that you are not able to hear because then maybe you can make your mix a little bit louder. And we use an equalizer to push the frequencies that are not strong enough or to give away a little bit frequencies that are maybe a little bit too loud. We use a compressor uh, to uh, reduce the dynamic of your track. You can use also an additional um, multi-band compressor like the Maximus. Uh, we do some stereo widening. At the end we use a limiter that you can have the maximum volume of your track. And after everything you can use some analysis tools like the Julian meter. The Julian meter is a free plugin. I use for everything FL Studio plugins, but I also show you some other possibilities like the Julian meter that is for free. So you don't have to pay money if you download this Julian meter. Let's start with the first stage, the low cut. We go to FL Studio. I have here a um, tech house track that I produced. All right, and we use the uh, equalizer, the fruity parametric EQ2. So we want to have a filter. Let's make it a little bit bigger. For this, we use the first band. And if you click here on this little graphic, you can go down and then up one, two, three times to get this one here. That's called the high pass filter so you're cutting out the low frequencies and there are different forms if you click here on this little dot here then you can change the form let's go to this four points here that it looks like this uh, we use the bandwidth to see that we are exactly here at zero db and then we go down and now we go to the frequency we set between 20 and 30 hertz so if it's more for the radio i would go up until 30 if it's more for the club i would maybe go down to 25 or 20 yeah it's up to you uh, everything that i tell you is just an idea please don't copy exactly what i'm doing uh, the most important is that you use your ears to listen and here's a very good tip use uh, reference tracks uh, search for some songs that are the same genre that are very close to your track so if you do a pop edm track search for some other songs that are made by great producers some really great songs S uh, search for two or three of them and download them don't stream them download them so you can really compare how is your sound uh, your track sounding and how is the reference track sounding okay let's go to the next stage and this is the equalizer so we listen to the track and maybe we have to push or bring down some frequencies but please don't make this really more than one or maximum 2 db if you have to make more than one or 2 db then maybe you have the mix is not good and you have to redo the mixing stage all right let's uh, listen to this Yeah, maybe we go down here a little bit at 400 hertz. Maybe we push a little bit here at 200. Something like this could work at this track. Um, and we go to the next stage. And this is the compression. Um, the best compressor, uh, compression that you have in FL Studio is the 
called the Fruity Limiter. It's here at Dynamics. And you have to change here from limiter to compression. Um, here you choose a threshold and everything that is on top of the threshold, that is higher than the threshold, you can use the compression. How strong? That's what you say with the ratio. Uh, maybe you go, if you want to have a strong compression, you go up to 2 to 1. You see this in the hint panel. Uh, 2 to 1 is a strong compression. Pression. If it's maybe an unplugged track, a sole track, and you don't want to use too much compression, then you go down like 1.5 to 1 or something like this. We go uh, to 2 to 1, and now we search for the perfect threshold. Um, I play the track at the really loud part, and then I go down with the threshold, and we hear what is happening. You also can compare how does it sound without and how does it sound with. That's what you do with this point here. This is bypass, so you don't you hear it without the limiting. I explain you all the theory how to do it. If what I'm doing does not sound so perfect, that's because I'm working with headphones. I can't use the speakers for um, this video. So maybe the sound is not so perfect what I'm doing, but it's more about the theory. Um, this was the stage compression, but uh, very often you use with uh, work with a multiband compression. And for this, you should use the Maximus. Maximus is a pretty cool tool. Uh, you find it also here at the uh, Dynamics, here Maximus. Let's listen. Um, first of all, we have three frequency um, spectrums, uh, three bands, the lows, the mids, and the highs. And you can make a compression just for the lows, just for the mids, just for the highs, and for the master. That's what you decide here. Here you work on the lows, here on the mids, here on the highs, and here on the master. Here we set a kind of threshold, and here we set the ratio. So if it's like this, nothing is happening. It goes in and what goes out is exactly the same. The more you go down here, the more you, it's like the ratio, the more you make compression. And this is the threshold. The more you go down here, the lower you start to compress your track. And um, let's listen to this. Yeah, that's a lot too much. I just want you to understand how this is working. And you also can push with this curve, for example, the low um, level parts uh, and make them louder. So let's do a little bit of uh, compression also here. But now we go to the different bands, like the lows. And we solo them so we really hear what we're doing. Let's go to the mid frequencies. You can use the attack to 
let the drums through. So uh, let me demonstrate this. If I, I go down with the threshold and down with the ratio, so the compression is now really aggressive working. And if I go up with the attack, um, you, the drums are cutting more through. Let's listen to this. This is without the attack. That's pretty cool, uh, but the compression is much too strong now. I like that. Let's do also some compression on the highs. Let's listen with and without. Maybe the low frequencies are a little bit too strong now. Alrighty, let's go to the next stage and that's the stereo widening. What is stereo widening? You have in Apple Studio um, this button here. And if this button goes to the right side, we are mono. That means that on the left side is exactly the same like on the right side. If the button here is, uh, the knob here is in the middle, then we have exactly, um, the, the we don't change anything. It's like your mix is. And the more you go to the left, the more you make the stereo widening stronger. But the more you go to the left, the more it's not mono-compatible. What well, is not so good. Therefore, it's maybe better not to do it here on the master. We also can do it in the maximus for every frequency, uh, frequency range. So we can use this knob here. For the low frequencies, I would go to the right because we want to hear the low frequencies mono, basically mono. So I go a little bit to the right. For the mid frequencies, we go a little bit to the left and the high, we also go a little bit more to the left. And now we can compare without this effect and with. If you have headphones on, then you should hear that it sounds much brighter with uh, this button on. And again with... All right, then we coming to the next stage. That's the final limiting um, for this. We use, use the fruity limiter again. So let's go to select. We go to uh, dynamics fruity limiter. This time we don't change to compression. We stay on limiter. And here you can say how much dB you have uh, at the maximum. And at the normal track, that is, a, if you make a WAV file uh, that you want to upload to Spotify or something like this, then zero minus zero dot one, like you see in my hint panel here, right? Uh, minus zero dot one until minus zero dot three is okay. Uh, if you're doing a WAV, uh, MP3, then you should go down maybe to minus one. DB. So as I'm doing a VAF now, a WAF file, I go to minus 0.1 dB. And the more you push the input, the more you using the limiter, the more uh, the louder is your track. So let's try this. That sounds fine for me. And we go to the last stage, the analysis. The Julian loudness meter 
tells you the loops and the loops tells you the average level of your whole track. Normally you see just the level of a special part, but with the loops you know the level, the average level of your whole track. And that's what you see here with the uh, integrated loops. Okay, let's load the Julian. Um, one more time, it's not from FL Studio, but it's a free plugin. So I go to more plugins, I search for Julian Lordner's meter, and I take the VST3 version. And here it is. So let's run our track and see how much loops we have. <laughs> So at the moment we are at minus 11.5, uh, means that we could be a little bit louder, make a little bit more compression to bring the volume a little bit more up. But again, you have to run your whole track through to see the average level of the whole track. So there is a last tool I would like to show you. This tool is not free. It's very expensive. Very expensive. It's expensive. It's uh, of the company Ozone. And it's the most used mastering tool. It's Ozone 9. I think meanwhile there is Ozone 10. And you have all the stages that we're we going through and some more. Uh, like the equalizer. Like the... Um, compression and everything else and at the end you can and you can load all these elements into the ozone and here you find the uh, maximizer where you really have a great limiter that you can place at the end of everything <laughs> to make your track really louder. Uh, why do I show you this? Because there is something, um, let's replace this, that I really like, uh, analysis tool. And that's called the Tonal Balance Control. I load the uh, VST3 version. They analyzed some thousand tracks in some different categories like bass, heavy, country, EDM, pop, reggae, soul, hip hop. So let's go to uh, EDM. And the EDM tracks they analyzed, they have um, analyzed free frequency ranges the lows, the low mids, the high mids, and the highs. And at the tracks they analyzed, uh, all the tracks, the bases are in this range, the low mids are in this range, and so on and so on. And you can Take a look to your track if it's in this range. If it's not in this range, this does not mean that it's wrong, but then you should think about it if it sounds cool for you or if you would like to change something. My name is Thomas Foster. Thank you for watching. I created a playlist for you with all my videos for FL Studio 21. You find the link for this playlist in the description of this video. Please like the video and I would be very happy if you leave me a comment if this video was, was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Always stay creative. Cheers.